The difference between varicose veins and spider veins are oftentimes the size. Spider veins are often purplish or blue in, in color that are just under the skin surface. The varicose veins tend to be more of the dilated, ropey veins that are often seen on the lower legs. The varicose veins can occur any place on the body, however the formation of both are kind of related to the same reason. Since all of us are now walking on two feet rather than four, gravity works against us. More women have problems with varicosities than men because pregnancy seems to bring out this hereditary defect in the valves. So really being human, walking on two legs, gravity of the earth, and heredity are the main risk factors. Both of them are not necessarily limb threatening or risky. Um, Primarily the reason to treat spider veins are considered to be that of cosmetic reasons, though a number of patients do have a significant amount of pain with them. Uh, varicose veins, despite, as well as being cosmetically not pleasing, um, can cause a lot of symptoms and pain. They're mo mostly symptomatic with aching, restless legs at night, uh, but can go so far as cause ulcerations on the skin too. So there's a whole gamut that, uh, that can be involved. Most of them talk about fatigue in their legs, swelling at the end of the day. Um, we see quite a few people with sores on their legs from the veins also. If you have symptoms or signs that are suggestive of varicose veins or venous disease, we recommend that you make an appointment to see us at Vasco and Veins uh, Specialists for a free consultation and possible uh, vascular examination.